The Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, CACO, has called for the scrapping of the Nigerian Senate, accusing them of disrupting governance through distractions and conscious intent to perpetrate trade impunity. Addressing the press, the body says while majority of Nigerians wallow in abject poverty, the Senate have continued to engage in acts that will, without any doubt, result in greater calamities for the nation. Our correspondent Flourish Alonge has more reports. When the Buhari-led administration took over powers in 2015, the fight against corruption and the recovery of stolen government funds from corrupt government officials had been the main agenda. But with the allegations of corruption levied against some members of the House and some government appointees, many Nigerians have begun to question the government on its stand. In their own courts, that is a human rights group, Center for Anti Corruption and Open Leadership, CACOL, says the leadership of the Senate is deploying corrupt and dubious means to deflect and distract the present administration from the essence of its creation. The leadership of the Senate and their cohorts in Red Chamber predicated on their law and their baggage of corruption has consistently deployed every dub dubious means available to them to deflect and distract government from the very essence of its creation. And this is in the bid to sheet themselves from the scales of justice over the plethora of corruption allegations against them. They have played all the tricks in the game and have apparently run out of cars leading to this macabre dance where shame, patriotism, conscientiousness, morality, and sanity have been thrown overboard. Rather than submit to judicial processes, to disprove, to disprove the avalanche of corruption allegations. The shenanigans have continually demonstrated that they are, quote, above the law, unquote, and therefore they are, in quotes, untouchable. Kakol is championing the call for the scrapping of the Nigeria Senate. Sen the Senate should be scrapped. That is the way we have voted. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't even see the uh, media campaign for referendum. We will be in support of it. That is a way to go. But the referendum is already on. The revolution is already on. Everybody is now aware that the upper chamber of our le legislative arm of the federal government is prodigal and they have become a burden on us. And we need to discharge ourselves of that unnecessary burden. They have not contributed anything to the progress of this country since they came. They have only encumber the running, the smooth running of a government. We are calling on Nigerians in unison to take back their country and stop any social, political, and economic anarchy that may want to befall the nation. Flourish Alonge, TV360, Lagos.